Ever wonder why every single programmer on this planet seems obsessed using letter E in the loop? Is it a secret code? A lazy habit? Or just some nerdy tradition? By the end of this video you will know why it's always I, then J and K and maybe you can impress your developers' friends with some interesting facts. First thing first, what's the loop? The loop is just a way to repeat a block of code. It's like saying, hey computer, do this over and over. And guess what? We need a counter to keep track of how many times we have done it. And what do we call a counter? You guess it. I. But why I? To answer that, we need to go to 17th century mathematics. Mathematics have been using I for centuries as a symbol of index. You've probably seen something like this before. This tradition carried over when earlier programming languages were created. Now let's forward to 1950s when the one of the first programming languages Fortran was created. Fortran had a quirky rule. Any variable starting from I through N was treated as an integer. Why? Because Fortran developers wanted to make it more easy for mathematicians to write a code on it. And boom, the I convention for index was born. Then the languages like C pick it up and spread all over the world like wildfire. Ok, but why do we use J and K in nested loops? It's not just a random letters. It comes from 3D vectors in mathematics. In 3D space, the unit vectors along x, y and z axis, uh, traditionally labeled as i, j and k. So, when you see nested loops, you are basically following the tradition from geometry. Now, let's get practical. Why do programmers stick with i? First, it's short and simple. Then it follows a well-known conventions, and it stands for increment which what loops do. And let's to be honest, it's because programmers are lazy. Typing i is faster than typing index counter. By the way, there is a classical programmer joke about this. It goes like this. There are only two hard problems in computer science. Cache invalidation, naming things, and off by one errors. <coughs> now, what about modern programming languages like Python or Go? They still use I, but they also encourage more descriptive variables name. But hey, I still rules the loop world in most cases. So to wrap it all up, I comes from math. It was hard-coded into the languages like Fortran, and it's been passed down through generations of programmers. Next time you see I in the loop, remember, you're a part of tradition that's 300 years old. If you found this story interesting, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments, are you always use I in your loops or maybe some more descriptive variables like index or index counter. See you next time. Stay in tech.